Hey guys and gals, this is Tyler, aka True Tactics 2 here again with another commentary for you. Today, I'm going to discuss the Light Armored Vehicle 25. Now, many of you know of the LAV 25 because of popular culture, including video games such as the Battlefield series and the Armor series. Now, the LAV 25 is an 8 wheeled light armored amphibious reconnaissance vehicle operated by the US Marine Corps and designed by General Dynamics Land Systems Canada. During the late 1970s, the United States Marine Corps began to look for a light armored vehicle which would offer better mobility than the M113. Eventually, they would settle on the light armored vehicle, which was based on the MOWAG Piranha. The contract was for six, six configurations. The LAV-25, LAV-R, LAV LOG, LAV M, LAV AT, and LAV C2. The standard LAV, the LAV 25, is outfitted with a turret that is armed with an M242 25mm chain gun. This can fire armor piercing and high explosive rounds. It can carry 420 of these rounds. Alongside the chain gun is a coaxially mounted M240C. 7.62 millimeter machine gun. There's also a M240B mounted on the top of the turret. The LAV R is a recovery model and is outfitted with a boom crane along with a recovery winch. Its main purpose is to recover other vehicles, in particular other LAVs. The LAV R is outfitted with an M240E1 machine gun on a pinto mount. The LAV LOG is modified for logistics such as transporting supplies. The LAV-M is a LAV outfitted with an 81mm M252 mortar that can be traversed a full 360 degrees. It is also outfitted with an M240 E1 machine gun on a pendle mount. It can carry a total of 99 81mm mortar shells. The LAV-AT, which is an LAV outfitted for an anti-tank rule, this LAV is outfitted with an Emerson 901A1 TOW-2 anti-tank guided missile launcher. It is also armed with an M240E1 or M240B machine gun on a pinto mount. This version can carry a total of 16 TOW missiles. The LAV C2 is for command and control. This version has a raised roof to accommodate several different radios. It is armed with a pintle mounted M240E1 machine gun. Since these six, there have also been two other variants that have been designed. These are the LAV AD and the LAV MEWSS. The LAV AD is the air defense variant and is armed with a turret mounted GAU 12 equalizer 25mm 5 barreled Gatling gun, along with two missile pods each. One each one carries four Stinger missiles. Finally, the LAV MEWSS is for electronic warfare. The LAV 25 first saw combat during the invasion of Panama and also saw service during the Gulf War, the war in Afghanistan, and the invasion of Iraq. The Australian Army uses their own version of the LAV 25 called the ASLAV. In 1990, the Australian Army conducted a year long evaluation of 15 LAV 25s on lease from the U.S. Marine Corps. This was to test how the LAV would handle the Australian environment and also what modifications would need to be made. After this, these, this evaluation, these modifications were implemented and in 1992, 113 ASLAVs were required and soon after, 144, were, 144 more were also acquired. There are reconnaissance, personnel carrier, command, surveillance, ambulance, fitter, and recovery variants. The ASLAV has seen service in East Timor, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Now, that wraps up this commentary, guys and gals, and I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to drop a like, comment, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. As always, this has been True Tactics 2, signing off.